Show you Brent crude, slightly down about a third of 1%. It is now trading just a pinch below 60 bucks, $59.14 a barrel. Let's get rid of that. The reason I say I wanted to talk about uh, oil because, well, we've had the oil majors, some of the big ones, come out and some pretty, pretty, um, pretty solid numbers. But there's been this huge confusion in Brazil about the government's plans to sell off billions of dollars of oil and gas rights. Now, the world's biggest companies such as, well, we've got Exxon and Shell, they're all lining up. Really hungry, lining up for today's auction, but a federal judge, we only heard this in the last couple of hours, blocked it at the last minute, uh, saying that it wasn't in the public interest. And then in the last hour, that block, well, it's been overturned now. <laughs> I'm just finally reading after the government appealed. So it looks like it's back on. Cornelia Meyer is independent energy expert and business consultant and a familiar face. And your first time on the show, you were very hungry to get on the show, weren't you? Absolutely. And here you always are. Always to be on with you. Here you are, Cordelia. Hey, so it looks like it's back on, but I want to ask you this about Brazil, for us uninitiated. The experts say, and this particular expert is the executive vice president of Shell's deep water division. He says, the quality of the reserves in Brazil is one of the best in the world, if not the best. What's it got? Why? Well, it's, it's very good quality oil. It's, it's, a bar, it, it's several billion do, um, barrels of oil trapped under the I think 12 billion yeah, they yeah, said, yeah, exactly, I was reading. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so if you, you have on a short, in a small space, you have a lot of good quality oil. So the matter obviously is it's deep water, so it's getting there, which is very expensive. Hey, well, that was my next question. It's, it's expensive to do, and I thought over the last couple of years, we've heard these big oil companies, they've been stepping back from investing and looking for for new reserves, new oil fields, and especially deep ones. So why yes, going in? But, but you look at it, that's, it's about half a trillion dollars worth of in, scheduled investment has been slashed over the last four years by the big oil majors. So now they need to replenish their reserves because consumption is going up, you know. Uh, this year... It is. So uh, 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 this year, 1.5 million barrels. Yes, supply and demand. We are about to balance. And we saw that we are about to balance. Le earlier on this month, when we had the when President Trump said he didn't renew the um, the, the the Iran nuclear deal, uh, which was a geopolitical risk, and uh, the, the Iraqi army w uh, went and grabbed Kirkuk, which is oil risk, uh, oil rich. So that was another geopolitical risk. Mm. And for the first time in about four years, the geopolitical risk moved the needle. The oil price actually went up. So we've got about 20 seconds. Is a short and sweet. Um, uh, the oil major, some of the ones that come out, and some solid numbers. Total, Exxon. Is this the turnaround? It is t part of the turnaround, but you also have to see they've been really, really good at cost cutting costs, and there's nobody, nobody better at dealing with costs than Exxon. They're the, they're the world master at this. Really? Oh, Excellent. absolutely. Good at cutting costs. There we go. See, Cornelia, I still don't get a lot more time on the show, but you're on, and it's great. You stay there. Well, let's have a look at what's trending uh, around the world on, in, in business, of course.